going to the library and watching horror films. His first writing endeavor was at the age of eight or nine when he wrote his own 12-page version of Friday the 13th. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I love that. That was <laughs> um, Peter Sines began reading writers like Anne Rice and J.K. Rowling at a young age. His first published work was a short story that appeared in the anthology Queer Tales, a fantasy anthology, which we have right here. This story actually became the first chapter of his novel. Peter has also written for the anthology New Year's to Christmas, Queer Holiday Tales, a timely holiday buy if you're buying some of our Christmas cards. <laughs> um, in addition to being an author, Peter Sines is an active advocate for important causes, including gay rights, animal protection, and environmental issues. His concern about the stereotypical portrayals of gay people that often appear on television and film influenced him to write a book where a gay person is the hero. In the words of author John Macy, who loved this book, he says about Coven of Fools, it's great to see gay guys finally getting to be the hero and kick some magical ass. <laughs> um, Peter Sines got great reviews, including the following from Outspired Magazine. Peter Sines' debut novel takes a gay and straight audience on a thrilling, magical adventure invoking the best of genre author authors like Anne Rice and Marion Zimmer Bradley. Coven of Wolves takes readers around the globe and back in time as a new universe of hidden societies, powerful witches, and sinister creatures dominate the landscape in their fight for control of an unsuspecting world. Please help me welcome. 